distractions in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. There are two kinds of distractions. Involuntary distraction and voluntary distraction. Involuntary distractions are not obstacles to prayer as long as we try to overcome them or reduce their number. For by these very efforts, we keep our course toward God. They are not a sin. In fact, they can be made good by our efforts to pray attentively. Because of our human woundedness, distractions to our prayer are to be expected. They are normal. Their frequency or their persistence should not discourage us as long as they are not willed. Unwilled distractions do not make our prayer bad or without profit. Voluntary distractions are those we freely and deliberately entertain or which we but faintly repel. They are venial sins since they show a lack of due respect towards God. There should be attention in our prayer. Attention in prayer means that there is an effort to realize and to mean what we say to God. Prayer is a conversation with God wherein we ask God to listen to us. Psalm 5, 1-2 says, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I pray. Through voluntary distractions, we do not make a serious effort to understand what we say and to be attentive to the divine voice. Matthew 15.8 says, These people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. When distractions present themselves to our mind, let us humble ourselves and unite again our prayer with the perfect prayer of Jesus. We need to know the causes of our distractions. They may be habitual thinking of things of no importance, the habit of daydreaming, the preoccupations, and selfish attachments that absorb the mind and the heart. Let us recall frequently, minding the presence of God in us and offering up to Him our actions and prayers. Once we have taken this means, there is no need to worry about such involuntary distractions. These are but trials, not faults, and once we have learned to profit by them, they increase the value of our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.